So yesterday we had you work on finishing stuff on working on these order of operations. So again, when you have the same operation like multiplication, division are together, right? Addition, subtraction are together. We work left to right. So if I work left to right here, so negative seven times four is, excuse me, negative twenty-eight. We're going to skip over the addition, and an eight divided by two is four. So now, now that I've broken down the two, the multiplication and the division problem, now I can do the addition problem. And what happens when I add 4 to a negative 28? Negative 24 is the answer. So how many people got negative 24? Good. Okay, the next one we have an exponent, but we have parentheses first. So we have to do the parentheses first. So 3 plus 2 is 5. Okay. We've got to do the exponent next, so 5 squared. 5 squared is like saying 5 times 5. 5 times itself twice. So what's 5 times 5? 25. And now we do the multiplication next, 25 times 6, 150. And 150 minus 1, 149. How many people got 149? Good. Okay, again, in part C, we got parentheses first. So we have to do the parentheses. What's 4 minus 5? Negative 1. And that's cubed. Now, negative 1 cubed is like saying negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. What is that? It's negative 1. Good. Now we're going to do the multiplication next. 8 times negative 1 is? Not 8, negative. negative 8. And then negative 8 added to 3. So 3 added to negative 8. Negative 5 is your answer. Anyone, how many people got negative 5? Okay. Moving to the bottom row. So E and F ended up being whole numbers, by the way, integers. Um, so now we got kind of a double parenthesis. So this is where we're going to start. Okay, so inside the bracket, we are going to do this parenthesis first. So what's negative 5 plus 3? Uh, negative 2. Okay, so now I, got, now I still got to do the, the brackets, which is like a parenthesis. So what happens when I have 4 minus a negative 2? Right, remember, we, 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 we add the opposites. So we add, and what's the opposite of negative 2? Positive 2. So it ends up being 4 plus 2, which is, and then negative 8 times 6 is negative 48. How many people got negative 48? Good. All right, these last two are a little tough just because they're lengthy. So exponent first. 2 to the third power is saying 2 times 2 times 2, which is what? 8. So we're going to go straight across. So negative 16 divided by 8 is negative 2. And then multiply that by 8, which is negative 16. When I take negative 16 and add a negative 7 to it, it is negative 23. How many people got negative 23? Oh, that was a tougher one. Now, last but not least, we got all, look at, I mean, this is just, it's long, right? It's really long. So, again, we're going to scan across, well, we got exponents first, so that's the first order of business. So, So 7 to the second power, that's saying 7 times itself, which is what? 49. Oop. That's supposed to be a 6 divided by 3. Now I can go across and do multiplication or division, whatever happens here. So I got multiplication first before this division. So 4 times 5 is 20. Then I'm going to divide by 2 times 
times 3. And 6 divided by 3 is 2, right? Okay, now again, working left to right, before I multiply this 2 into 3, i got to divide 20 divided by 2. What's 20 divided by 2? 10. And then before I can add, i got to do this multiplication, right? 10 times 3 is 30. Now let's just go through. So 3 plus 30 is 33. And 30 minus 49. Negative what? 16. And when you add 2 to it, you get negative 14. So all that work to get that. How many people got negative 14? Good. That was tough. See how we work left to right there? All right. Go to your back page because I want I want you to add stuff to your summary. Hey, 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 hey. Don't go crazy right now. All right, so order of operations. They use the word PEMDAS, which stands for something. Please. I'm going to kind of use the big letters, with, and I'll write small. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And that helps you remember parentheses. Exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Okay. And again, when you're doing when you get to when you're doing all multiplication and division, you want to work from left to right. Same thing when you got all addition and subtraction. It's like reading a book. You want to work from left to right. Okay. Numbers written with exponents in standard form, meaning if you see three to the second power, that means three times three, right? Okay, this does not mean 3 times 2. It means 3 times 3, which is 9. Because 3 times 2 is 6, right? Anytime you see an exponent, you're multiplying this base number by itself, however many times the exponent tells you to do so. If it's 3 to the 4th power, you're multiplying 3 by itself 4 times. That's all exponents are. Okay? So remember, as you get into this, multiplication right, and division are kind of one thing, right? We work left to right. Addition and subtraction are kind of hand in hand, right? You work left to right. Parentheses and exponents kind of aren't hand in hand, right? But they're the ones that got, you got to go in order. If you see any parentheses, you have to tackle that first. So you just got to kind of remember the order. Okay? And that's going to be very important. That will help you. All right. Um, I am going to uh, pause this, let you finish kind of adding to that. All right, so here's your homework assignment. Blow this up a little bit here. Page 86, 1 to 7. 